Bonjour from Paris. I'm so excited to be here. I can't believe I'm finally here and checking off one of my biggest checklists from my wish list, my bucket list in life. Uh, we're gonna go to Pigal to meet up with one of my friends to get some coffee and yeah, some pastries. So I will see you guys probably on the way to Pigal, but I'll see you guys around. We started off the day at Pigal and we eventually headed over to Montmartre, which I have to say became one of my favorite spots in Paris. It felt like a village and it just felt so much more low key than the rest of the city that I had seen up until that point. And it had stunning views of the city as well. There are many coffee shops and just picturesque moments that you can take photos of and it's the epitome of French architecture to be honest. In addition to that, you have the Sacre Cour, which was built in 1914. And this beautiful structure overlooks the city and you can get some of the best views that you can get of the whole city from up there. Of course, I had to get a crepe and coffee. And then we headed over to the famous Eiffel Tower. This was my very first time seeing it. And as you can see, I was freaking out. Nothing prepared me for this moment. It was just stunning. And in addition to that, it started sparkling, which made it even better. And for a different view, we headed over to the Rue du Camoen, which is like a little side street. And I got these really cool shots. And then this is the view from a train. I just can't believe that people get to see this every day on their way home or to work. That's just crazy. Hello, hello. We are gonna go to the Union Bakery here in Paris to get some breakfast and I'll show you guys a bit of what they have at the bakery. I'm excited. I recommend going to Patisserie or Boulangerie in the morning to start off your day because you're gonna get a really local feel of what people get to eat for breakfast here. And I really enjoyed Union, as you can see. And I also wanted some freshly squeezed orange juice, which is really cheap. And then I headed over to Noir, which is a specialty coffee shop. And there's a bunch throughout the city. This location though, absolutely gorgeous. And you can see that the products just look really good and my latte was really delicious. So this has orange blossom, some big sugar flakes on top as you can see there. It's really delicious and I got something else I'm going to try to um, I got, it's like a croissant with a hot dog. Nice, flaky, you can see there, nice consistency. It has mustard seeds inside, and the texture is just, let's see, can you hear that? No, you can't hear it, but it's crunchy, it's delicious, you have to go to Union Bakery. All right, so we're currently walking over to, pardon my French, because it's really horrible, the Arc du Triomphe. I hope I said it right. And the way that we're gonna get there is walking all the way through the Rue de Lafayette, or Rue Lafayette, rather. And this is gonna take us all the way to the Opera Station. And from there, we'll find our way to get to the Arc du Triomphe. So I'm really excited because the Champ de Lucie is there as well. Lots of cool things. And we're just going to be doing a lot of walking today. So join me on my walking tour through France. All right, plot twist. We actually came to the Galerie Lafayette, which is like a super, super fancy version of Macy's. And they have a rooftop so you want to go check that out. So this right behind me is the... Am I recording? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is the Galerie um, rooftop. And it's... Oh my gosh. I, I'm going to show you guys in a moment. But you can see the Sacre Coup from over here as well. And there's a beautiful view of the opera right beside me. And the Eiffel Tower and the Sacre Coup. And all the different huge, super important landscapes here in Paris. So... The way you get here at the crossroads between the Rue Lafayette and the, um, the opera, you're gonna see the storefront and you'll just come up and you'll find your way. It's like on the eighth floor, it took a while to get here, but it's definitely worth every moment of being here. Another quick 
quick pit stop. <laughs> we stopped at the Museum of Perfume, or Perfume, and it's pretty cool. Walked out the train, and <laughs> the Champs-Élysées was right behind me. And there it is, you can see. So I took a little tunnel and I got here and it's right behind me and then as you can see the Champs-Élysées is also right there and you can also see very far, I'll, I'll try and clean and flip it a little bit, it's like an obelisk and just a super long road with lots of stores and restaurants. We're going to explore for a little, um, I don't want to be there too long but I do want to get some lunch because I'm hungry. So anyway, beautiful worth the walk to the tunnel. After what seemed like an eternal walk, uh, we went to Monopri, which is a really nice grocery store and they have clothes as well and different stuff. Um, we went to the grocery store and got some things, so I'm just gonna sit here at this Parc Carré Marigneux. I don't know what it's called, let me, let me refresh my brain. Carré Marigny, which I'm certain I butchered. Um, but yeah, we're gonna eat here. It's really cool to do that because you can just make a little picnic happen real quick here for like $15, $20 and get yourself a good meal and stuff and just enjoy the outdoors. Ooh, there's birds everywhere though, that's the only thing, but all right, I'll show you guys the park. All right, so it's beautiful and over there you can see a monument, which is also beautiful and a fountain and yeah, that's what we are doing. All right, so behind me is the Luxor Obelisk, which was brought here in the 1830s. It's about 3,000 years old. You can see all the different details on the obelisk will show how it was brought over from Egypt, which I think is actually really cool. And yeah, that's the Luxor Obelisk here in the Plastico. So we are in the Jardin de Tuileries and at first, I'm not going to lie, I was a little confused and disappointed because I had this mental image of what I thought it looked like and it didn't look like that because there's um, construction for the Olympics already but we came to the right part and it's beautiful and it's just magical. You can see the Eiffel Tower and everything and I don't know, I love this area and of course the Louvre is right behind me so we're going to head that way to check it out. I need a coffee to wake me up. So we're coming to Cafe Kitsumi. I think that's how it's pronounced. This place is in New York. I've been before and I actually really like it. So I figured why not come try it here as well. So let's go get some coffee. All right, we made it to La Seine. And if you walk through the loop, and through the courtyard, you'll eventually reach this area. If you go to the other side, you'll get to a bunch of different things like coffee shops and stores and restaurants. And there's also this art exposition that we went to, which I'll place the name to you guys can find.
All right, so my first croissant from uh, Pati City. I tried it at a coffee shop the other day, but let's see how this one is. <laughs> oh my gosh. So it's super flaky. And I mean, I've tried um, croissants before, but this one is just next level. Mm. And you can really taste the butter, and the texture is amazing. So delicious, delicious, delicious. Worth all that. We made it to the Luxembourg Gardens. We took like three different trains. It was actually pretty easy to get here though. So we're gonna head over to the gardens and I'll show you guys a little. All right, so we're at the Luxembourg Gardens, Chateau de Luxembourg. <laughs> Um, and behind me is the Palace of Luxembourg, which was built as a house for the mother of King Louis. And it became a legislative building as well. It's beautiful, there are statues all around this area. This is probably one of my favorite things I've seen so far. Behind me you can see the Pantheon, it's huge, it's enormous. Uh, way bigger than the one in Rome. Still as beautiful though, and it's a very nice sight to see. So we made it to the neighborhood, Emily in Paris. That's her building right there. Gabriel's restaurant is right behind me. And then the patisserie or the bakery where she was at, at the beginning is also over there. So. All right, so I just got a uh, pistachio from the patisserie uh, from Emily in Paris. It's a session one, so we're gonna try it. A macaron, sorry, I don't know if I said that. <laughs> mm. So, there's a lot of texture, which is actually surprising. I mean, I can actually feel the texture of the pistachio. It feels like real pistachio, so I really like it. So, you guys have to come here when you come to the neighborhood. <laughs> My eclair fell. I've been carrying it everywhere and it fell. Alright, so that's Notre Dame right behind me. It's still under construction, so I can't really see much, but it does look nice from what I can see. And uh, before that, I went to the Shakespeare & Co, which there's a few in New York, actually, so it was cool to see the original one. But yeah, it was beautiful. You can't take photos or videos inside. I saw a bunch of people sneaking photos out, but I kind of want to respect the rules because it's really cool that you can just go and worry about... Oh, wait. It's Syrian. You can just go and worry about the books. So uh, we're continuing around here a little bit through the Latin Quarter um, to explore a little more. Looks very different. Looks almost like medieval. Gives me Disney vibes. I'll show you guys. Bonjour, last day in Paris, and we're heading back to the Union Bakery again. <laughs> and then after that, we're actually going to Bigal and Montmartre because we have a reservation there. So I'll see you guys around. We are walking through Montmartre right now and actually kind of leaving the area a little bit because we're doing something basic. We're going to Pink Mama 
If you've ever seen like Paris TikTok, you've seen this place. I'll show you guys in a little bit. Um, but we're gonna head over there. It's kind of closer to Pekin, so yeah, I'll show you guys the way. because they are both pretty grand in my opinion and quite beautiful. It's to the side of the Champs-Élysées and like I believe I mentioned earlier, you can see the Alexander the Great Bridge which we're gonna explore in a little bit. So um, let's go inside. is right there behind me as you can see the sand and everything the Eiffel Tower just quite the place to be all right so the Petit Palais by the way didn't have an open coffee shop which was actually pretty sad uh, excuse me but we're looking for one right now so let's hope it's open because it looks beautiful and I need something We ended up at La Maray, which is a very nice neighborhood. So far from what I can see, I like it. Cool place. All right, so we are in the Place de Vosges, I believe is how it's pronounced. And you know what? This was one of those places that we had on the list and I was almost not gonna come. And I would have regretted that heavily because it is such a beautiful square. <clears throat> it has like a plaza um, with different alleyways, kind of how the Plaza Mayor has in Spain or in Mexico City you have in Zocalo. It's kind of that same structure, but with beautiful French architecture around. And I have to say this is probably one of my top favorite spots I've been to so far. So put it on your list. 